Hi everybody and welcome back to today's video. Today I want to talk to you about my participation in the Puzzle Summer Olympics. It's an online event that's taking place worldwide. Anybody from any country can participate. Um, it's a non-competitive puzzle event. So there is rules and criteria that you'll have to um, adhere to but other than that it's not competitive there's not a first place there's not a second place there's no um, requirements of how many puzzles you need to do so i will put a, a thingy up there with the schedule for this year's summer um, olympics the 1st of june to the 7th of june was a one week opening ceremony you could assemble any puzzle of any piece count as long as the image is of flags, maps, landmarks, sport, athletes, Olympic symbols. So any piece count. From there on all the rounds is more piece count specific but there's no requirements for the images. So the uh, second round was the 5th of June to the 7th, which was the preliminary games, a three-day event, and the piece count for this one was 2 to 200 pieces. No image requirements. The third round is the bronze round. It is a one-week event. Piece count is 201 to 499 puzzle pieces. Again, no image requirements. So I finished up with the first three rounds um, as of today. And my next round will be Saturday, which is the 15th of June, um, where I will do the silver round. It's a two-week event, 500 pieces to 999 pieces. So I've got about, I think, nine or ten, depending on how fast I can assemble them, that needs to be done in that two weeks. Or it's my plan to, to do them in that two weeks. The gold round is from the 1st of July to the 31st of July. It's a one month event and there you can assemble any puzzles pieces 1000 to 1499 pieces. So again there I've got about seven puzzles I hope to be able to finish in that month and if I am able to I will um participate in the closing ceremonies which is the 18th to the 31st of July for 1000 pieces to 2999 pieces. In there also from the 1st of July to the 31st of July is the 3D round and I will talk to you about the 3D round because I ordered a puzzle especially for this round because of the bingo card so but we'll get to the bingo card. Then the Olympic Games for the whole month or two months from June the 1st to July the 31st was the Olympic Games where you could assemble any puzzle with 3,000 pieces or more. So three, four, five, whatever you are able to build in that two months that you can do. I did not participate or did, do not plan on participating in this round because I can't do a huge um, puzzle count as well as the smaller one so i can do one or the other not both of them then also from june the 1st to Ju july the 31st is the junior olympics so the parents could also register their kids to to participate in this event so lots of fun um i participated in the winter olympics in december 2023 i will drop a link at the in the description box below um, there's a time lapse of the three puzzles I uh, assembled for that round. I didn't um, participate in all the rounds, only in the opening ceremony. January just got away from me and I never got to the other rounds. This year I'm a little bit more flexible with the time and I'm so committed to um, complete the bingo card. So somewhere about now there should be a image of the bingo card up here so the idea of this is to complete the card to fill it up to block out all the the blocks with a puzzle of um, one of the rounds that you did so the first row there there was a specific every row's got a a, a name and a, i don't know what you call it 
uh, skill that you you get when you complete a row but the whole idea is to see if you can complete the whole bingo card so the first row there is water sports summer food and drink or flowers so again a puzzle with this specific image it can be from any of the rounds as i showed you um, any piece count as long as you did that puzzle in that specific round that it was intended for the the piece count the second row is um, the colors blue black red yellow and green the third round is a round puzzle a wooden or plastic puzzle then you've got a free square there irregular shape puzzle and a 3d puzzle then the fourth one is hot celebrate paris country and people then the last one is opening ceremonies bronze or silver a hard puzzle an easy puzzle and a puzzler's choice so up until now i managed to do let me see one two three four five six seven eight puzzles for the bingo card over three rounds all the others i can only complete when the next rounds start some of them is 500 pieces which i'll do um, in the next uh, from saturday that two weeks and the 1000 pieces i will do in the month of um, july so um, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the puzzles and I'm going to show you some time lapses and um, see, let me show you where I put them in on the um, bingo card and cross your fingers with me and see if I can finish this card, fill it up. I completely forgot to mention every round of the opening of, of the puzzle Olympic Games has a secret word and a secret object that has to be included with every puzzle you take progress photos with the secret word and secret object which in the most cases is coins so there's a certain amount of coins that needs to accompany the secret word and i forgot to mention that it's a big part of the the process but uh yeah just to throw in a side note in there thank you so much I ordered a Pinto jar 3D puzzle for this bingo card, specifically to be able to complete that 3D block. So I should receive it before the end of June. So that should be part of my June puzzle haul. So I hope to be able to include it there. But uh, yeah, the rest of the puzzles I do have and um, I will show you what I did so far. And I think I might leave the others that I still need to do for uh, a next video. I don't want to ruin the surprise. So I'll do another video for the, what is that now? The silver round where I do the 500s and the gold round where I do the 1000. So I will do two more videos as I proceed with the event and um, I'll share with you every after every round the puzzles I did this one um, because the sp smaller piece counts the rounds were I didn't contribute that many puzzles in the in the last two rounds so it was one or two in the last two rounds the first one I think I had four puzzles so therefore I'm going to combine all of that in one puzzle uh, video but um, the others I think I will do one video per round as I finish them up but yeah without further ado here's the puzzles I did okay so here's the puzzles I did for the first three rounds if you remember there's a puzzle I got I think in the April um, puzzle haul in which I got this puzzle without the box it's only the cut out of the top this one I did for the opening ceremonies the name of the puzzle is Disney Maps or Disney World Maps, I think. And I chose this puzzle for the opening ceremony square on the bingo card. So that was my first one. There's a quick time lapse just to show you what I did there.
second puzzle I did for the opening ceremonies is this one. It's a no name, no brand puzzle. There's a name there which I assume will translate to Eiffel Tower. So I did this puzzle for the opening ceremonies and um, the square I chose for the bingo card was the Paris Square because this um, I can't think of anything else than Paris for this puzzle. Okay, the third puzzle I did for this round, second time I'm assembling um, or did assemble this puzzle for the channel, is the V and A Dusk, 2000 pieces. Um, this one represents South Africa with Table Mountain as a landmark. So I was um, adamant that this puzzle should be included. I'm glad I managed to get it in, done in that week. So this one, the square that I chose on the bingo card was the heart, heart square. This puzzle, because it was 2000, it took me longer. It's a photo puzzle. Everything about this was more difficult than the others. This was my puzzle for the heart square. So there's a quick time lapse. I promise I will keep it short. Okay, so the next puzzle I did is this castel. So yeah, I eventually got to around to doing the first castel. It is um, Parisian charm. So you'll see there's an image of the Eiffel Tower and there's some French flags. So perfect for the opening ceremonies. The bingo square that I chose for this puzzle was the country um, square. Um, Everything about this puzzle represents uh, France to me. So it was perfect for, for the country square. So another quick time lapse for your entertainment. Okay, so the mm, preliminary games round was three days in which we had to do two to 200 piece count puzzles. This one, also my second time assembling the this puzzle, is the Blue Fox Wooden Puzzle. Um, I think it's got about 74, 72, 74 pieces. So this one I did and I chose the irregular shape um, square on the bingo card to go with this puzzle so quick time lapse for your entertainment <laughs> For the silver round, uh, which is um, 201 to 499 pieces, I did the wooden puzzles zebras, also my um, 
second time assembling this puzzle for the channel and the square I chose for this one was the wooden slash plastic puzzles square to go with that one another quick time lapse I know you recently saw it but just check again <music> The next puzzle or the last one I did for the bronze round was this gilt puzzle, 300 pieces, very old puzzle. It was a loan from a colleague and a friend of mine. Thank you so much. It helped a lot. This one, um, it went fast for me because it's a small puzzle. The image wasn't that difficult. Um, it I spent just over an hour on this one. So I chose uh, the easy square for this puzzle. And um, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I need two more puzzles in the bottom row to complete them. And I think both of them I will be able to complete in the next round. So, fingers crossed that I will eventually be able to black out all the bingo squares. And that I can complete the whole bingo card with puzzles. <music> That is it for this round. Um, I will make another video with the silver, yeah, the silver rounds puzzles, which is the 500 pieces. These nine to ten puzzles that I hope to be able to uh, complete in that round, and then I will make a third video for the gold round, which is the thousand pieces, and I've got two four six seven puzzles i hope to be able to complete in that month if i do manage to complete them sooner than the month's time i am going to attempt to do a 1500 piece for the closing ceremonies but i didn't take anything out yet i'm not bargaining on the fact that i will have time for it so for now my mission is to complete that bingo card and um I will keep you updated. I will do two more videos as I complete the, the rounds. So if you um, completed puzzles for the Puzzle Olympics previously, please let me know in the comments how you found the, the experience. If you want to complete in the Puzzle Olympics for fun, there's no no competition in it whatsoever i'm going to drop a link to the facebook page in the comment section you can join the training camp page and from there you will find the information to register like i said you can also register your kids have them participate in the uh, the puzzle olympics um i hope you enjoy it if you've got any questions please ask i will answer them as best as i can it is really a fun event to participate in and I hope that um, you will consider also joining in and um, have a lot of fun. Okay so if you like this video and look forward to part two and three of the Puzzle Olympic uh, videos please um, subscribe and ring the bell because then you'll get notifications and you can watch them as soon as they get out and published. Also please I would appreciate if you would like this video. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Um, I'll 
Take care. I'll see you in the next one.